Hi, this video is for the department chairs of the English department to know how to administer an in-house placement test, otherwise known as an IPT, using Blackboard. So, to first of all, you need to, well, the test is created by our curriculum team, but then you need to open it on the, the days that the exam will be held. So this is done by our own, by yourself. So here is the test for this term. And you can see here, you need to change uh, to make sure it's available to the students. So I've already done this before, but just to check, you click on the downward arrow here, go to edit the test options. And just to check, is it available to students? Yes. And then the timer, don't change the timer, it should just stay as 120 minutes, two hours. Um, and then we have display after. So I'm going to open it tomorrow, the 5th of January at 8 o'clock, and then I'm going to close it same day at 5 o'clock in the evening. Okay, so because it's online, I'm just giving them a little longer to do it. They'll still only have 120 minutes, but that's how long. And then when you're ready, you click submit. And now I will tell my student services that uh, the test is open for students tomorrow. If you are running the exam online, which we have been doing recently, you can share this link with the students. This is a video that's on the YouTube channel that shows students how to do the exam. It has instructions in, in Arabic and that has proved quite uh, successful in recent months. Students understand the test. They sometimes have problems by submitting, so you just restart the test for them. If you are doing it on campus, I would recommend using the PowerPoint. Now, the PowerPoint has two reasons. Number one, it tells students the rules and the instructions for the IPT. But secondly, it welcomes them to Adverti. I think it, the IPT is actually the first day we see our students. They don't have an orientation, so it's a chance to say, hey, welcome to our campus, and this is who we are. So it just goes through the what the test is, the test structure. It has a video on how to log in. It has a video on how to answer the questions. So they struggle with multiple choice and the typing. So which one are they supposed to do? And then at the end, how to submit the test. So if you just show these three videos slowly at the start of the test, they will understand. And then at the end, it tells them how to get to the test and the password, if you've set a password for the exam. Actually, did I show you that on the video? If you go to edit test options, at the bottom here, there was the option to tick a password. If you want to use a password, you can make your own one so that students can only do the exam in the exam room. This is a good idea on campus. And then when you have finished the, the test, you need to do the grades. So you would go to grade center in the course and just like you would um, for normal exam results, the grades will appear here. So you can just take a look and access or you can download it and make it into an Excel file. And here is the Excel file. It is good because all the information is there, but there's a few negative things. One, it has information you don't need, so just delete these folders. Actually, I'll just keep E to show you something. Um, so I would convert this into a little table. Format as table, make sure it has headers. Okay, so now I have the information to share. So what I have here, here is the placement test score. Here, I would just change this to what stage am I putting them in or what course. So over 100 at the moment is GEC 2000. So that's the course I would like to put them in. The negative thing about this grade center is it doesn't actually tell you when they did the exam. To, to actually see when they did the exam, you would need to go into the grade center seems to have stopped temporarily but you would need to go into the grade center and check on the actual 
each individual exam when they did it. So the best way to do it for me is to check with the attendance sheet. So look at the attendance and who did the exam. Because this actually shows, yeah, these students did it on the 17th, but these two students did it on another day, which the test wasn't open. So they didn't, they just went into Blackboard on those days. So it can confuse things. So I would cross check with your attendance list. And then when you, so that, that column we don't need. So when you're finished, just convert it into what stage you want it to do. And then you have all your results. And that's all you need to know about administering the placement test. Thank you.